So we've been talking about some interesting stocks in that industrial uh, supply sector. And the trade of the day, we're going to go with Tsepo uh, Nai, that is, <coughs> excuse me, is Invicta. Tsepo, just summarize for us in, you know, 30 seconds or so, what are your overall sense of Invicta and what its main attractions are? Uh, look, I think uh, sound valuations, good management team, um, good diversification in terms of the basket of products supplied to agriculture, to right. mining, different segments of the industry of, of the economy, um, and that preserves margin over time. So I think overall, it's the ingredients for a sound, good investment. So yeah, strong capital structure as well. Christo Visa made himself a bomb, and then another bomb, and then a third bomb out of you know big controlling or significant shareholder in Shoprite. But yep. he's touched lots of different things and done well. Some senses might be a boring business, but solid, well managed. Been buying in different agencies and brands during the downtime. Yeah. It's got a telegenic CEO, by <laughs> which I mean he looks good on TV. That's Arnold <laughs> Goldstone. Then they did a deal recently to buy a business in Singapore. Yeah. And here's the thing: we actually have a Invicta position already in uh, the hot stocks portfolio. That's why I'm so positive <laughs> about <laughs> confirmation bias. <right? laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's now sitting just below the hundred rand level. It's just drifted around recently. Some people said that because of Hudeco's problems, maybe they'd had a little bit of a sell-off. Yeah. But um, it looks to me like a business that could, you know, continue to do well and penetrate that 100 rand level. Uh, definitely. I don't think there's uh, a reason to think that it's not going to keep doing mm. what it's done before.